Hello everyone! Hi Alessame! Welcome to my channel. I am Donita, your Pinay teacher in Norway. And if you are new here, I am making vlogs about my life experiences here in Norway. And also I create some tutorials for you to learn on how to speak the Norwegian language. <laughs> we will talk about pronouns or in Norwegian pronomen so that is our topic for today and I would like to say shout out to one of my subscribers so she asked me to explain what is die, sai, dere, os in Norwegian and how to use it in Norwegian sentence or in setninger på norsk so I dag ask us nake om pronomen or for I started that la me introduce myself first. Yai heter Donita, yai komet fra Filipinene, ye har bud harin orge for circa sex or o yai aren gushent la er har. O yai deler min konskaper o erfaringer til dere som har lis o lare norsk. So first I will explain what is the meaning of pronoun. The meaning of pronoun, we use it as a substitute to noun. So we don't repeat or not commit repetition every single time because it will be repetitive if we will say, My name is Donita. Donita came from the Philippines. I will always use my name Donita. Instead, I can use I. For example, in Norwegian, yai. Yai heter Donita, yai kommer fra Filippinene. Yai är ett exempel av pronomen. Så det är forskjellige former av pronomen. Det har personlig pronomener. For exempel, jai, dere, hun, han, vi och de. So those are example of personally pronomen. Now I will give you the examples of reflexive pronomen i objects form. For example, jeg vasker mig. In English, I am cleaning myself. I is the doer and the receiver of the action is myself. So in Tagalog, ako ay naglilinis ng sarili ko. Ako yung gumagawa nito sa sarili ko. That's why I will use the word myself or in Noshk, my. Another example. Du vasker dai. In English, you are washing yourself. Another example. Hun sminker sai. So if you already know how to construct a simple sentence in Norsk, hvis du allerede vet hvordan å lage en enkel setninger på Norsk, det har subjekt, det har verb og objekt. For eksempel, jeg vasker meg. Jeg er subjekt. Vasker er verb. Meg er objekt. Han barberer seg. So when we use hun og han, she or he, we use the word sai as a reflexive pronomen in objects form. Now, another example. Dere mo shinde dere. So that is another example. Dere, we use it as you in a plural form in English. For example, you must clean by yourselves. For example, in a classroom setting and I want to ask my students to clean up, I must say dere mo ri de dere. And last example is di. Di vasker sai. Di in English is they. They are washing themselves. Di vasker sai. So we use sai as an object's form when we use D in subject's form. 
I hope that that is clear and you understand how to use pronomen, how to use reflexive pronomen. Här jag ska ge dig ett exempel som dere kan prova och svara. Dere kan kommentere ne, hvis du har spørsmål eller du lurer på noen ting. Jeg håper at du har forstått hva jeg har forklart i dag. Og ikke glemt å abonnere til min YouTube-kanal. I hope that you have learned something about my video for today. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for you to be updated when I have new uploads. Thank you for watching. Hadi bra. Bye.